following new developments in Philadelphia's notorious Fairmount Park rapist case. It's been nearly 20 years now since the attacker targeted his first victim and thanks to genetic testing, authorities now have their clearest picture yet of what he may look like today. Action News reporter Annie McCormick live for us now at the Special Victims Unit in Hunting Park with the update. Annie, this has taken relentless work from detectives. Yeah, and Sarah and Brian, even with the advancements in DNA technology, there's still a lot of tedious work that has to be done in this investigation. However, this new composite sketch, authorities are hopeful that more tips will generate after they release it. This new composite sketch shows what the Fairmount Park rapist could look like from ages 25 to 60. It's called DNA phenotyping and can predict what someone might look like, a technology used by Philadelphia police for the first time. It treats your DNA like a, a blueprint uh, for how your, what your physical appearance is. And then combining that with information about ancestry and facial modeling, uh, they're able to use um, all, those, all that information and come up with uh, a composite sketch. Police are using this in tandem with DNA genealogy to work to map out potential family members of the suspect. We talked to quite a few people. Um, some have been cooperative, some haven't been. Uh, we've, we've swapped two people and they're both in the area. Combining this information with witness accounts, police say he may have scars or deformities. He is most probably from Puerto Rico. He has a widow's peak, and at the time, he was believed to be in his 20s. He is linked to the murder and rape of Rebecca Park, who was strangled while jogging alone in July of 2003. The DNA from Park's case was linked to two other 2003 attacks, a rape and an attempted rape. Then the attack stopped, only to begin again in 2007 when a woman was raped in Penny Pack Park. In 2018, Philadelphia police turned to genealogy websites to try and solve a number of cold cases, with Rebecca Parks among them. Investigators in California used a similar approach and caught the Golden State Killer. Locally, Lancaster investigators solved a 25-year-old cold case. Police say they have shown composites to the surviving victims. And to get a better look at that new composite sketch, you can head to our website, 6abc.com. Any information, call 215-686-TIPS. We're now reporting live in Hunting Park. Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Hopefully one day they'll get this solved. Thank you, Annie.